Hi, my name is Tina and I generally teach English and my experience is mainly with primary school children. So my demo lesson is going to be teaching a child at that level. Okay, let's go. Okay, so today we're going to start with a warm-up and our lesson is going to be about the simple present tense. But first, we're going to start with a warm-up today and it's going to be tic-tac-toe. And we're going to use some of the action verbs that we have learned in a previous lesson. Okay, what do you want to be today? Do you want to be cross or do you want to be circle? Circle. Okay, can you circle a picture? Good. What is it? Yes, run. Good. Fantastic. And what is... Hmm, what is it? Yes, video games. Play video games. Do you like to play video games? Yes, good. What's your favorite video game? Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Okay, can you circle another picture? Good. What is it? Sing. Good. Okay, and what is... Hmm, what is this? Yes, ride a bike. Do you like to ride a bike? Yes, good. Okay, fantastic. Can you circle another picture? Good. What is it? Eat. Yes, fantastic. I like to eat pizza. What do you like to eat? Yes, ice cream. Ice cream is a good one as well. And you've got three in a row. Fantastic. Good job. Good. Okay, now let's see. Today, as I said, our lesson is on the simple present tense. And we are going to look at the third person singular. Okay, what that means is we are looking at he, she, and it. Yeah, he, she, and it. Now, the action verbs that we have learned in the previous lessons like read, walk, when we use I, like I said, I like to read, I like to walk, that's fine, I like to read, but then now when we use he, she, or it, we need to add an S to the verb. So, instead of saying she read, we need to say she reads. Okay. What about the next example? Can you read the next example? Yeah, I walk. And now we're going to use he. So we say, yes, good. He walks. Okay. So m most of the verbs, we just need to add an S. But then there are some verbs where we need to use I E S. Okay, and that happens when the verb ends with a Y. Okay, so here we've got an example I fly. Now, if we say it, like the B, we need to say it flies. Okay, then we've got some other examples as well, and sometimes, well, we call them irregular verbs. And with those verbs, sometimes we have to use ES at the end. Okay, like I go becomes she goes. What about I do? Can you read it? Yes. He, yeah, so he, I do becomes he does. Yeah, good. And what about I wash? He washes. Good. What about this example? I kiss. She kisses. Good. What about this example? I watch. Yes. Okay. Fantastic. Good. Now, let's have a go and let's try it. Okay. Here we've got an exercise that we're going to do where you can see a lot of activities like a person that's reading. Yeah. So they read and then somebody, what is the person doing? Drink. Yes. Good. Now, let's have a look at the first example. Mike plays the piano. Here we can see Mike plays the piano. And because Mike is he, we are going to use an S. 
Okay. What about number two? Can you read number two for me? Yes, Anne eats. Can you see somebody who eats? Where is the person? Can you spot the person? When you see the person, can you write a two into the circle? Good, fantastic, good. Anne eats. What about number three? Good reading. Yeah, Jack paints very well. Where can you see Jack? If you can see Jack, yeah, good, fantastic. Yeah, so here, because Jack is he, we use an S. What about the next one? Yes, once you spot it, write the number in the circle. Good, fantastic. Good. Now, because um, for the purpose of the demo lesson, I'm going to just speed up. So at the end of this ex exercise, for example, I would maybe also ask the child whether they can recognize the regular verbs from the irregular verbs, the ones that have just an S and the ones that have the ES at the end. Okay, let's move on to the next exercise. Okay, so now let's try to make some sentences of our own. Okay, here we've got an example. And we have on one side, I, you, he, she, it, we, and they. And on the other side, we have the rest of the sentence. So read a book, watch TV. Can you read the next one? Yes, good. What about this one? Good. What about the next one? Fantastic. And the next one? Good. And so on. Yeah, your reading has really improved. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to make the first sentence. I'm going to say, hmm, she, mm, what could I use? Oh, I'm going to say she rides a bike. Yeah, what's your sentence going to be? Yeah, good. Can you write it down for me? Find a nice space and write it down. Good. Yes, I go to the park. Okay, let's make another sentence. Mm. Which one do you want to choose next? Which person do you want to choose? Good, I like that one. Let's write it down. So we have the park already. Let's cross this one out. Oh, good. I can see you writing your sentence there. Fantastic. They play... Good, video games, good. I like that one. Okay, again, for the purpose of the demo lesson, I'll probably short it, well, I'm going to shorten it now. So I will go through the sentences and then maybe also see whether the child can come up with some senten sentences of their own, on their own. So, um, yeah, and that's the demo lesson. Thank you. Bye.